Dear students, I welcome all of you in the another session of traffic engineering and management. So we have discussed about the initial important things about traffic signals in the last session. Now we'll continue with the remaining important things in this session. See, this is the model of design of intersection that we have been discussing. So let us resume. The so what we have discussed in last session is we have discussed about the importance of traffic signal. What are the advantages of traffic signal? What are the disadvantages of traffic signal? And what is the basic phenomenon of the various kind of signals, lenses involved 200 mm, 300 mm. And we have learned that where do we provide the traffic signal? The requirements we have learned. Now in this session, we are discussing about the traffic signal itself, the remaining things. So be focused as this plays an important role in your syllabus. See, as I have already mentioned that the traffic signals can be classified into three types. That is traffic control signal, pedestrian signal and special traffic signal. Now the traffic control system signals can be divided into two types. One is called as fixed traffic signal. Second is called as traffic actuated signal. The traffic actuated signals are classified into three other types. Fully actuated signal, semi actuated signal, speed control signal. So, this is how the classification can be done. See, there are total three categories as I have already mentioned. First is called as traffic control signal. They can be divided into two types, fix, semi actuated and speed. If total three are incurred. Second is called as pedestrian and third is called as special traffic signal. Let us learn about the first one that is called as fixed traffic signal. See, as the name suggests, fixed traffic signal are also called as fixed time signal. And in this signal, the signals are set to repeat the cycle of red, amber and green light at the particular fixed period. Means the timing of each phase of the particular cycle is predetermined and that is based on the traffic studies that has that have already been conducted on the road before providing the signal. These signals are the simplest type of signal, simplest type of automatic traffic signal which are electrically operated. So this is one of the most important thing that the fixed traffic signal operates repeatedly, regularly at the cycle of red, amber and green. The timing of each phase of cycle is predetermined based on the traffic studies conducted and these signals are the simplest types of automatic traffic signal. They are electrically operated. They are, as I already mentioned that the signal timing and cycle timing are predetermined. They are also called as predetermined signal. So this is another question that fixed traffic, uh, fixed time signals are also called as predetermined signals. Then it is about the signal things that the signals cannot take into account the fluctuation. See, as the timing is already fixed and they are electrically operated, it will not understand the real time situation that is being existing on the particular road. So these signals cannot take into the intake can cannot take into account the fluctuation of the traffic flow. And they are satisfactory only where the fluctuation is very small in amount. The cycle time or cycle length varies from 40 seconds to 120 seconds. Now, let us learn about the advantages and disadvantages. Certain advantages that are incorporated with this signal is that it is simple in construction. It is relatively very inexpensive. It is successfully used in the link system. Link system, see, they are used in the link system that require a fixed cycle length for the given pattern and speed of progression. And if we discuss about the disadvantages, then the disadvantages involve that they are inflexible and they can cause delay because they are not operating themselves with the real time scenario. They require careful setting. So it was all about fixed time signal. Now the second is about the traffic actuated signals. They are also called as vehicle actuated signals. See. This signal are those in which the timing of the phase and the timing of cycle are changed according to the traffic demand. So basically they are basically uh, mainly dependent on the real time scenario. 
the vehicles on any intersection approach are sensed by the detecting device as we learned in the traffic volume calculation thing that magnetic device are there radar are there means radio detecting and ranging are there linear detecting and ranging lidar is there magnetic tape can be there pneumatic pads can be there so there are various kind of sensing devices iot devices sensor devices are provided and they sense the vehicle presence at the intersection approach the devices can be of magnetic tape magnetic loops or pneumatic pads they are placed in the road by recording the vehicle as they cross the detector and by the timing of the vehicle the signal are automatically adjusted to give the preferences to the approach with the heaviest flow means what will happen if this is c uh, let me show you see see if this is the cross road and this is where the signal is sorry this is where the signal is so what signal will do that if the signal sends that okay from this moment the vehicle are in heavy flow and from this the vehicles are in lighter flow then it will adjust the cycle of red green and amber according to the requirement according to traffic demand let us learn about the advantages there are associated with this that it reduces the delay it increases the capacity they are adaptable to the short time fluctuation in the traffic they provide continuous operation under low volume conditions and they are most efficient for isolated intersections so these are certain advantages that are associated with the traffic actuated signals if we discuss about the disadvantages then let me tell you that they are uneconomical they require two to three time cost of the fixed time signal because the sensors are there the cost of sensors is involved they are costly detectors and difficult to maintain complicated than the fixed time signal if we discuss about the types of this kind of signal then that involve fully actuated and semi actuated now what do you, what is the meaning of fully actuated so these are having detectors loca located located on the each approach so at at the four kind of approach at the crossing at each approach approach the detectors are provided they assign the right of way to the various traffic movement based on the demand and the second is of semi actuated signal these are the signal where the detectors are placed only at the minor streets where the traffic on heavy volume or high speed may be interrupted for the light class of traffic these are called as semi actuated traffic signal and they are often installed at this particular moment so it is about that particular now let us discuss about the signal terminology see these are various kind of signal terminologies that we have to understand that the period of time required for one complete sequence of the signal indication one complete sequence of signal indication is called as signal cycle red green and amber then the green phase the duration of stop phase is the red phase and the duration of go phase mean green second time is called as green phase so the duration till which you have to stop your vehicle is called as red phase the duration during which you are uh, instructed or you are permitted to cross to proceed is called as green phase then what is called as cycle time or cycle length so let me tell you that the time required for one complete signal sequence of indication is called as cycle time it is also called as signal cycle that we have already learned as the first definition it depends upon two things first is it depends upon the volume of traffic at the approaches and it also depends upon the width of the road and intersection it is denoted by c then comes the definition of interval now what is interval interval is the thing that indicates the change from one stage to another see there are two various steps or uh, stages are of interval are there one is called as clearance amber interval and another is called as initial amber interval clearance amber interval is called as amber time means the time during which the amber is indicated it indicates the interval between the green and the red signal 
normally has the value of 3 to 6 seconds you might have observed, might have observed about 5 seconds so this is about this is called as clearance amber interval or amber time then the red amber interval is the time that is provided after each amber interval means initial amber interval is provided after each amber interval indicating that a period during which the signal phases show red and used for clearing of the vehicles means if green is gone and if the red is there for few seconds then that will be called as initial amber interval and the interval it is also called as the interval between red and green signal so these are various kind of terminologies that we have learned one is called as signal time second is called as the green phase third is called as red phase fourth is called as cycle time or time cycle or signal length Fifth is called as interval, sixth is called as clearance amber interval, sixth is called as initial amber interval and the last one is about the criteria of that. Let us discuss about the types of traffic signal. But before that there are various signal terminologies that are related with the types of traffic signal are that the green interval. What is the meaning of green interval that is given in your book? is that green interval is the green indication for the particular moment it is as easy as that it is very easy to remember it is the actual duration the green light of the traffic signal is turned on it is called as g1 then second is called as red interval see it is the red indication for the particular moment it is the actual duration the red light of a signal is turned on it is denoted by r1 third is called as phase see Phase is the green interval plus change and clearance interval that follow it. And the fourth is called as lost time. The lost time is the time that indicates the time during which intersection is not effectively utilized by any of the movement. So these are the discussion of the various kind of terminologies. I hope you understood the concept thoroughly. Thank you.